Hey guys, it's Sarah and I am here doing another layout from a page kit that I made earlier this year. And I'm going to go ahead and put it together here. So this is another layout that is going to go in my sorority album. And this is of a night that um, one of my sisters had a birthday and um, her boyfriend rented a limo for everybody and we um, went out on the town and went and had dinner and went dancing and it was a lot of fun. So um, this is a picture of a bunch of us in the limo and uh, yeah, so it was a good time. <laughs> um, okay, so I have a lot of pink and yellow here going on and I'm just going to use up, you know, quite a bit of these scraps here. So I matted my photo in yellow with a very thin mat and then added a larger mat in that pink there. Okay. As you can see, lots of scraps here. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, this pink is going to be my main big background here. And then I'm going to have some of these yellows going on and then I will bring in the floral as well. So I have this large yellow, sorry for my head. <laughs> my head just keeps getting in. Um, I'm having to lean over a lot to make sure things are straight, so. All right, so I have that, and then I'm gonna use a, a decent sized chunk of this one here, this floral paper, I really like it, it's really pretty. And then I will use a kind of a more horizontal strip for that one there. Not a huge one, but something just to kind of ground everything there. Okay, so I got all that down. Um, so for this one, I have this card that says, I think I'll stop here, which I thought was kind of fitting for this because uh, we did, um, you know, go in a limo and went to a few different places. So I'm gonna use that. Um, I thought about using those hearts somewhere else, but I ended up not doing that. Um, but I'm gonna put that up at the top there. Then I have a couple of these uh, tags that I'm gonna use. Those came from a cut apart piece of paper, I think. Um, and then I just have some scraps here that I'm trying to use up. <laughs> just trying to use up some of these scraps. So I'm just gonna kind of fiddle with them a little bit, place them where I think I want them to go. Um, I like the way that ampersand fits right on that circle right there. Um, I'm gonna end up putting the tags on this side and then I'm gonna move this yellow uh, piece of paper over there. So I'm gonna end up doing that. Okay, so I kinda like the way this is happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some of these down here. I don't want to forget like, you know, where everything is laying. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of start from the top <laughs> and build it down. <laughs> Say, okay, I'm going to have this here and this here and this here. So um, that's kind of how I decided to layer them down. I like all the solids just kind of building up from the bottom. I really like the way that that looks. And then I will layer up these tags here. Cut them down a little bit. And of course they stick out over the top a little bit more than I was hoping, but I, I have a plan to cover that up. Um, just kind of that little awkward sticking up there. And I will use this piece to do that. <laughs> Gosh, my head is like right in the way. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do my journaling on that little strip down there. And I will go ahead and put this ampersand down here too. Um, and then I have that little uh, gold and pink, like gold foil label up there. So I'll use that. Just a few things here and there. Now I'm gonna grab some of these Kelly Perky letter stickers and I'm going to use these for my title. So the title is Limo Ride, a very 
very easy, very simple. Um, I don't have an E, so I'm gonna use an F and then just add a little uh, period on the bottom there. And that will be my E. Or actually, no, I grab a piece of the seven. I think I tried to use a period, but it wasn't staying. So I just grabbed the top part of a seven, just cut off a little strip and put it down there. So, um, and I think everything else I have good to go. So uh, it's gonna be limo ride. So I'm putting these down. I love these letter stickers. They're just, they're a really great size. A little smaller than I would normally use for a title, but I do have some really large things happening here anyway. So um, I kind of like that it's just a little bit of a subtle title down here. And I have this um, little arrow that I think it's pink with, with uh, white stars on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put down this label up here. And then I have a couple little things, um, this little banner that says night or no, it doesn't say nice. I don't know what this one says. The other one says nice. I don't know if I use that one or not, but I'm cutting it down. Oh, that one says classic. And then the other one says nice. So we'll see which ones I end up using. I use the classic one. <laughs> oh, I guess I use both of them. Good. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Okay. So yeah, I use both of those. And then I have these cute little, um, pink, they might be grapefruits. I'm guessing maybe, um, they're just like citrusy and they're super cute and they're orange. They're like, you know, kind of, they kind of summery and pink and all that. So they go nicely. And then I'm going to use up these foam hearts that I have here as well. Uh, and then I'm going to do my journaling. So my journaling is interesting because I mess it up. Um, I start writing on there that it was my friend Amber's birthday. It was not Amber's birthday. It was Rebecca's birthday. And um, <laughs> so I don't know why I put Amber. I think I was looking at Amber in the picture when I was writing it and I wrote Amber and I went, oh my gosh, it's not her birthday. So I start writing it and I realize my mistake and I'm like, how am I going to fix that? Um, so I do come up with a way to do it, but it, it takes me a minute and I don't know why, like I just, I messed it up. So I end up, I think this is how I, where I realize, oh crap, <laughs> it's not Rebecca's birthday, it's Amber <laughs> or it's not Amber's birthday, it's Rebecca's. So um, I'm trying to think of a way to do it. So I, I look over and I still have this little piece here and I was like, you know what? I'll just write Rebecca on here and then I'll cover it up. Rebecca's birthday. So I wrote Rebecca's birthday and then I'll cover it up and then I'll do the same thing at the end of my journaling with another word so that it looks intentional is basically what I ended up doing. So I covered up Amber's birthday and put Rebecca's birthday. And then on the bottom, I'm going to write something else on there and it will look like I intentionally did that, if that makes sense. I hope so. <laughs> I, at least I hope it looks intentional. I think it does. But the fact that it's in two different places kind of makes it a little bit more like, oh, she meant to do that. It, she didn't just, isn't just covering up a mistake type thing. So that's what happened. Um, yeah. All right. And that is uh, going to complete my layout. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you guys have any questions at all. And I have some close-ups coming up here for you. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it. So uh, thanks for joining me today. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.